how many of you Mac owners uh, want to see an animated wallpaper for your Mac OS X Leopard desktop? I know I have, and I stumble across a nice little method to be able to do this. And primarily, I'm going to be showing you how to work with the default Aurora theme, as this is by far the most popular, not least because it is the default. There are a couple of little software tools that we need to use to be able to animate our desktop. And the first one is called Xmod. You can find this at geekpeaksoftware.com forward slash xmod.html. Once you navigate to this site, you have a little button which you need to click to download Xmod. I uh, recommend downloading this to your desktop so you can find it easily. I've already done this in this case, so I won't proceed. The second thing you're going to need is your Aurora screensaver, and you can find that at web.mac.com forward slash onzinlab forward slash site forward slash aurora.html. You can click on a little button on the left here and that will download this. Again, download this to your desktop so you can find this easily. You also have a little preview to show what it's like. Um, you can turn off the stars. So you can just have the bare background if you so choose. Um, you do have a little copyright info thing at the bottom there. Um, but as we're using this as our desktop background, um, for the most part that's going to be covered by your dock, so you don't need to worry about that. Once you have downloaded these files to your desktop, we can proceed in turning this into your animated wallpaper. So the first thing you need to do is change your wallpaper, your screensaver settings. So you need to go into your system preferences and on the top just double click your desktop and screensaver, make sure you've uh, selected your screensaver tab. Next we have our Aurora screensaver. It's actually a quartz compilation but it's really simple to turn these into, into a screensaver. All you need to do is left click on your file, drag it over to your, screen, to your preview window and like magic, there you go, it's assigned as a screensaver. Click on the options tab and make sure that stars and info are both deselected. So that's the first part done. We've now created our animated screensaver of the Aurora theme. So the next thing we need to do, whoop, next thing we need to do is to go into Xmod. And you see we have a nice window here with a load of options that you can customize the various hidden features within Mac OS X. But the feature that we're interested in here is this little one here, screensaver as desktop. And there's a little button there to start that off. We do not need to restart the computer. So you can just go ahead and click start. Zoom out here, you can now see that I've got my animated screensaver set as a background. You can see that the copyright info is there in the background, but it is covered for the most part by the docs, so you're not really going to notice that. And well, it's just really, really cool. And I couldn't be happy with the results. Obviously, it looks very choppy because I'm recording, but believe me, when you get this running on your Mac, 
it is really, really smooth. Thank you very much for watching. Please leave your comments and I will see you next time. Thank you very much.